When my friends asked me to go camping in DuPont State Forest, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the yurt in DuPont State Forest, North Carolina. This is the bathroom area. <laughs> Says her dude brushing his teeth. Here's the kitchen. Really nice kitchen area. Come in through that the front door. And then you go here. And you've got the main bedroom. Really nice. And then, bam. Outside area. Really nice out here. This is about maybe two minutes from the Lake Imogene uh, trailhead. So Ridgeline is literally right over here. So great location. Um, I don't know if you guys can see through the bushes right here. There's a little canteen, they have ice cream and beer, but you can actually see some of the other yurts. Pretty cool. This is the one that we're staying in. Really nice, really nice. These are new. I mean, they are decked out to the nines. They have a little sky uh, light area. You can actually open up the sky, a little sunroof almost. Up there. If you ever get the chance to shuttle up to Avery Creek, I suggest you highly do it. Now, look, I know what you're thinking. You have to pay the trail gods to really enjoy the downhill. Well, I 100% agree with you. When you're in Pisgah for two days, you wanna try and get as much riding as you can. This is a great way to do that. Now, what we did is we parked at the horse stables. We took another car up to the beginning of uh, Club Gap. It's only about a 20 minute drive on a gravel road. And on this particular occasion, we ran into a guy that was camping on his own and he had gotten himself into a little bit of trouble. Oye, abrí la ventanita de aquí atrás, Julito. Yo, let's try it. Let's try it. Now, we tried everything that we could. Let's we didn't it. have a winch or straps. We tried pushing, and unfortunately, we were not able to get him out. Um, on the way back, we did see that he was gone, so he was, in fact, able to get out of the situation. All right, have fun. Good luck. Be safe. Be safe. You'll have to excuse the horns. Uh, it had been raining all day up in Pisgah. Our brakes are wet, and that's what you're hearing, guys, is a bunch of wet brakes. We 
following your lines. Dude, this may be too much for them. Frankie, man. Line, Frank. Good lines, Frankie. That was fun. That was fun, dude. It was dicey. He had one bad line, but after that. <laughs> I mean, I'm stopping because of that feature yeah. for everybody, but my quads are not upset about the brake. No. <laughs> or my forearms. My Here, block off that. He might try to clear that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Keep moving. Nice. Dude, it's running great. Good shit, good shit, Ricky.
Mud! Hell yeah, Frankie! Oh, there's three more. My front tire dropped and I'm like, no! <laughs> wow, you see that line? That's, That's the good. line. That That's line a good line. too small to me to take. And slippery. Actually, take that, throw that log out of there, it'd probably be helpful. The log might be trying to tell people don't go over there. Which yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We must be at the bottom. And now the bike's turning again. Yeah. Must be. They said what? This is what? Well guys, I hope you liked the video. Unfortunately, I had to cut the video a little bit short from that uh, big piece of mud that was on my GoPro. So, um, I cut out a lot of the footage, but I hope you liked it. Um, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like the video. Until next time guys, enjoy the ride.